we are here taking a walk back to the house, but um, what? Oh, it's with breaded board. Yeah. Um, at the breakfast place with um, my dad and Uncle Albert and his brother. So we are taking a walk home and we had the idea of making another video. So I had ramen and some bacon and some eggs like always at my grandparents house. And chicken. Yeah, chicken. And orange juice. Yeah. They make ramen for you at your grandparents' house? No. But bacon and eggs? Yeah. Okay. Very fancy. Okay, that's good too. But I was just wondering if they make ramen for you? That'd be great. Yeah. Have you ever been in here, Robert? Uh, yeah. It's not bad. No, there is not expected. Not expected? Watching Spartan while we were waiting for Spartan. him and Gordon. Mm -hmm. And he was going to stay here till 10 o'clock. Because, you know, she said um, I could play Wii at 9. So, uh, so we are making a video. And on the way, we'll think of something else to say. So, we were talking about American Ninja Warrior and Team Ninja Warrior. What do you like? Which one do you like more? Team Ninja Warrior. Which one do you like more? American Ninja Warrior. American Ninja Warrior. I like American Ninja Warrior. But well, I hear both are good. It's, they're both pretty disappointing sometimes. But I think American Ninja Warrior is better because they got very impatient after. Um, Okay, started in January or February or something. And you gotta wait. Got really so I was really excited when American Ninja Warrior started again. Now the thing that bothered me is I'm not sure why they wouldn't want to air Team Ninja Warrior on NBC. If American Ninja Warrior gets good ratings, which they do, I would have thought that you know they'd want to make more money. Put Team Ninja Warrior out there too instead of Esquire. Yeah. Now, do you watch BattleBots? Yeah. It's a great show. Tombstone was my favorite last year. Lake Forest was my, was one of my least favorites. Yeah. Well, these people are getting to live out their dreams here. Machines destroy machines. Just machines. And, and they're frightening too. I'm sorry. Flamethrowers over here, buzz saws. Yeah. And, and like, this year, um, there was this guy shooting cannons. Shooting cannons? Oh, yeah. Good grief. I'm sorry. What's next? Missiles? Yes. <laughs> but you realize it's. I think it's part of like part of the reason why some people go to watch NASCAR. They really want. They're really hoping to see small accidents and something like that happen because when they're driving so quickly. But in Battle Boss, there's nothing. You know. They just say we want you to go at each other, and it's fun. Yeah. It's like when you go into you know. Uh, bumper cars. You yeah, want to bump against each other, right? Yeah. Except in this case, the cars are bumping themselves and smash it, yes. But I'd be afraid to be there in the, in the ring. I mean, you don't care if they have the fence and everything there, but all the stuff they're doing, the buzz saws, I mean, they say, oh, look, the saws going 120 miles, spinning 100, you know, how many revolutions per second? Well, well that's a little scary. Um, <clears throat> so, war had really changed this year. They made a head, a dinosaur head, that breathes fire. And that really burnt a competitor. There were, I, I've only seen that twice. Uh, well, I'm, I'm glad it's only twice. That's a little scary. But it also reminds me of that uh, episode of the Big Bang Theory where they set their uh, tiny little uh, robot, Monty, against the big robot. Did you ever see that, Brian? Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I think I've seen some of that. That yes. was funny. Run, Monty, run. Yes. Oh, yeah, I saw that. I saw that. Of course, that would never make it to battle bots because it would be too unfair a match. The giant robot versus the tiny little robot. They wanted it to be more fair, right? Yeah. Especially not against the flamethrower, but I'd be more fair to the cannon, I'm sorry. Well, go like. And, that, and there was a plate in front, a drum.
drum spinner, and it did like three hits. The bot died. Yeah. That's the one that's actually both the most. The buzz saw, the buzz saw, the latest one. What are you gonna do against that? I'm sorry. Saw. No. What? The you're gonna carry spin around it. You're spin gonna. It. Maybe you're gonna um, make a hammer and smash it. That that may be true, but you gotta hit it pretty fast on the side. No, you have to hit it from. That's scary. No, it's from the top. That's scary. Maybe too. you could like knock it out. I don't know. The saw spinning at you. I don't know if you want to do it from the, from the top. What do you think, Brian? I'm not going anywhere near it. Okay. So yes, but it's fun to watch. Okay. But I still like American Ninja Warrior better. Yeah. Because I can just imagine you up there spinning them all. Well, I I would have a little bit of any and everything in my in my body. <clears throat> like one cannon, a saw blade. And of course, a, a spinner because why not? Because they loved Tombstone last year. Absolutely. <laughs> Do you need a flamethrower or not? Mm, sure. Okay. Just in case. Okay. And also, I might maybe be. Able to, like, see, I'm not sure what else would be uh, effective in a robot war. I don't think a cold, you know, cold spray or foam or anything would do any good yeah. or oil. It's not. It's like you want running around, just sliding around, you know, moving around and rollers or whatever. So, so a hammer, like you yeah. said, maybe, but you need a very big hammer. Yeah. So, so like jack in the box. You know what to do, Spring Daddy. Well, these are the sleeping garbage cans I tried to show you last time, but we figured out that we went past it. I wonder where the um, mommy. Blue one. It's, it's, but I guess the, you know, it's like they're in a straight line. Okay. That would be for you, not for him. Action. Well, this is another, um, that was another pause. I didn't ask Daddy to do it or anything. Um, I had a couple pills when I was going down there, at, right about at this point, because I see the rock pits that I used to play, play in when, we, when I was young and we would take walks. Sometimes you would let me play in them, sometimes you wouldn't. So, Team Ninja Warrior, um, do, you have any, do you have anything to say about Team Ninja Warrior? Not right now, not oh. what you're talking I didn't watch much of this, it was an Esquire. So, Team Ninja Warrior, it's a, it's a pretty, it's pretty easy to stay in the race, cause, um, it's, it's like, if you touch the water just a little, you're still in. And finally, I have, I see one day you have to go fast. I loved going fast when American Ninja Warrior first started, but then they would see people go so slow. So you have to go like that guy, Daniel. Daniel Gill? Daniel Gill. He goes fast. Yeah. So fast. Yeah. I like it last week when that guy was making fun of him. But I beat you, <laughs> yes. By, what was it, like a half a second or something? Or the crossover? And I got to give him credit, man. He zoomed through that course. Well, yeah. He, yeah, he, he beat him... You beat him in less than a second. Yeah. So, this is the end of the video. If, if you just see us coming up, then, then just finish the video. But, um, I'm, we're sorry that we didn't put up a sign. But this is the end of the video. Bye!